good evening everyone thanks for joining the session this is an introduction uh, introductory session on cyber security and its futures and today our speaker is uh, mr sanjeev kumar shukla who had uh, more than 5 years experience and he has worked in top mncs like accenture qualcomm you know and currently he is uh, working in qualcomm right yeah so now i would like to call our speaker mr sanjeev shukla so please start yeah sure thank you shivan uh, so guys currently like uh, shivan told i was working for qualcomm but uh, currently i am working for uh, warner bros and discovery so i have recently changed uh, so i have moved to warner bros so i have been continuously working for like around 5 years in cyber security domain so let me share my screen uh, actually i wanted you guys to be uh, like i do, i don't like you don't uh, you guys don't call me sir or anything just be very friendly and i wanted just uh, i wanted you guys if you can share your uh, like if you can come on uh, camera if like if you are in a position to come on camera that will be really great please and please guys if you can please switch on your cameras so that this session will yeah. be more interactive and so i just don't i don't want uh, just to come as a speaker and speak and go away i want more of a interactive session i li like you guys are the kind of future of tech or you guys will be in coming maybe few years you will be joining the tech industry so i just want to be uh, like i want to understand what you guys think and how how things what what is your perspective so it will be more kind of a interactive session so yeah uh i will share my screen i have cre created a like kind of ppt for let me know once my screen is visible guys uh is it visible to all of you yes sir yes yes it's visible i have all you all are you can speak also by switching mic guys everyone is comfortable so should i start now yes no okay start yeah so this is just a introduction of topics uh, through what we will be going through like introduction to cyber security as a whole domain then we have different domains within cyber security what is the future market trend in cyber security what are the upcoming technologies current ongoing technologies within cyber security space tools skills required within cyber security domain impact of cyber security in coming future more year like more more around 10 year 10 year down the lane what will be happening within the cyber security space it's just a brief of all those things then pay scale and pay trends in cyber security like what is the pay trend what is the market demand what is the pay scale and all this is uh, more of that part then we have summary and then you you guys can have if you have any question then we can have a qa session okay so uh let me at last we at last we will be having a, a qa session yeah uh, so just okay so we will move to our first slide like so if i give you like if i want to understand what what you guys understand as a cyber security like what's a cyber security for you guys anyone
anyone any idea like if you have any basic answers maybe okay so cyber security is one of the domain tech domains in which is more about how to secure the digital space around the world so it's more about access more about confidentiality more about integrity and making our systems up and running continuously so that it's more about availability okay so these are the key components around which any cyber security domain within within the cyber security also we have multiple domains so the final goal for any cyber security domain is to achieve all these three things uh confidentiality integrity and availability of all the digital systems so if we go to what is the current landscape of cyber security so as you know ai is coming we have advanced technologies coming in blockchain and there are other technologies ml ai then we have we if, these days cryptocurrencies if you have, have heard like bitcoins mining these things are in a uh, picture the, the overall landscape and everything any business which is running on uh it infrastructure which which all the businesses which are online whether it's netflix amazon any company even banking banking companies like whenever you do credit card payments upi all the infrastructure is secured by all these domains cyber overall it is secured by the cyber security domain so as you can see the current landscape of cyber we have increased sophistication of threats cyber criminals like if if you if you go like these days if you see the news russia ukraine all these things so there is more role of now the warfare is bit different from what it was earlier it is more of a cyber base so we have more sophisticated cyber criminals more skilled more on, organized they are developing new technologies they are utilizing ai artificial intelligence exploiting different kind of vulnerabilities within the systems so we have we are rapidly evolving right so we have new technologies even if you uh, like if anyone who is interested in cars and all you will you might have heard of adas iot cloud these tesla cars these are all based of cloud they are continuously anything which is related to data cloud these things has to be secured because in current world in a digital space the only fuel the only fuel is data data is the most important asset which any cyber criminal will want to have it so we have regulatory compliances we have governing bodies which regulate how digital systems should work digital companies they have, we have a regulatory compliance bodies which keep checks whether all the companies are following the cyber security first principles whether they are aligning by the gdpr rules privacy rules data collection rules we have whole set of regulatory bodies if you can see we have like they have to comply by the various data privacy if you like when you log into some website they will ask can we collect cookies so within cookies they ca capture certain amount of data so it it depends on what they have to like show to the government what kind of data they are collecting okay so we have in india also we have a lot of the regulatory bodies which are uh, which are like looking into these things okay so this was the overall description of the cyber security as a domain as a tech domain so this was just a overview now i will go more in depth so it's like these days as we grow in the field of technology like ml is coming ai is coming you might have seen the amount of data processing the data the compute power everything is increasing day by day we after few years maybe we will be using quantum processors quantum computing so the amount of data which can be processed and which can be like the amount of ways in which attack can be planned cyber attack it's a enormous it will be enormous we can create raw uh, 
like once ai is full fledged we can create bots who can attack we can create scripts who can attack so this is how technology is growing and in the same pace cyber security cyber threats these things are growing so so what are the key challenges today in the cyber security landscape so increased sophistication of threats like cyber criminals have become more smart more organized more skills they are using new techniques they are they have different ways of leveraging advanced technologies to exploit different kind of vulnerabilities within the system or outside the system they are planning different sophisticated attacks okay so we have new technologies as i already mentioned artificial intelligence iot cloud computing 5g networks we have more speed more compute power we, everything is improved and similar way at same pace cyber criminals have improved their capabilities they are more aware they are more using they are day by day they are utilizing more uh compute power more uh more advanced technologies to get into your system or any organization system okay like i previously mentioned we have regu regulatory compliance so there these are some of the major regulatory compliance gdpr GC, ccpa hipa these all are governing bodies <laughs> gdpr is mostly based out of uk european for european countries they are regulating the privacy and data so they are mostly into data and privacy so so regulatory compliance what they do if companies are not aligning by their data or they breach some data so or they, uh, something like there are if you if you use credit card debit card you might have seen visa mastercard these are all network companies so they have a huge amount of user data which they can expose and if they do that uh, they have to face the financial penalties and reputational damage regulatory compliances so now as after covid you might have seen there the, all the businesses move to uh, online like online mode we have remote schools remote uh universities every all the systems are moving online so the more businesses come online we have like now cloud kitchens these all things are coming into picture so the more businesses move on the online thing the more the more threat and vulnerability of cyber attack increases so as we are going through a digital transformation the attacks can be cloud based remote access like we are using more of a different cloud based things remote access we are working from home so these things even your wifi can be exploited your network security can be exploited so we have different kind of attacks aligning to that supply chain attacks they are like we have different system suppliers we have ships defense systems so we have whole supply chain of different things like we have semiconductor chips this supply chain can be uh, like attacked cyber can be infected or they can be attacked and infiltrated within the organization okay now what are the emerging trends in cyber security so whatever we uh, previously uh, uh, discussed was it was more of a current landscape and evolving threats now it's emerging trends in cyber cyber security what are the technologies which are emerging within the cyber security like we are ad adopting these technologies to make our systems more secure and more like more sophisticated so it cannot be attacked or it can cannot be easily penetrated so we are using artificial intelligence and machine machine learning within the cyber security architecture and system to detect and respond threats more effect effectively they can like the amount of compute power we are now having is huge we can easily analyze large data sets and identify the anomalies and the patterns that may determine the potential cyber attack or any organization which is at the verge of the cyber attack zero trust architecture it's more about that only the right amount of access is given to the right person for the right period of time it's more of a uh, zero trust architecture means within the organization also people has to go through auth authentication before they access any 
system or tool or any technology <laughs> so it's more of a like authentication process cloud security as you know the cloud has been a trend for last i think 7 8 years it has been continuously in trend so organize most services are provided by cloud services like even there is some organization abc it is working cloud infrastructure for google, from google from microsoft azure or any cloud oracle cloud or any gcp anything any cloud structure they are using they ensure they want the gcp or the uh, vendor that they should offer more cloud security their system should be secure their data don't get breached because data breach is a big compromise <laughs> so we have a iot iot security the growing number of like if you uh, if you are aware about the IoT, iot domain it's more of like one device communicating with other device so it should be encrypted no one can like it should be there should be no uh, like unauthorized access within the communication or any data breach like if if your device is communicating with uh, some uh, alexa or something within your cars like we have more automation systems iot devices so it should not uh, have unauthorized access so this is more about the emerging trends within the organization and how different hey. organizations are adopting this these trends uh, may so, I yeah sure uh, in cloud security there is a new kind of uh, you know security measure it's called cloud mesh architecture uh, sorry uh, in cloud cloud computing and cloud security there is a new kind mm -hmm. of security feature and recently introduced in the past uh, two to three years it's called mesh mesh architecture cloud okay. mesh architecture yeah so, so yeah is it is it better than the traditional ones see cloud security is more on the vendor side like whatever architecture traditional architecture we have on prem servers right so on prem servers are mostly accessible like we we don't have that level of authentication i have specifically not gone through the whatever you mentioned mesh security but uh, what i am aware about the cloud security it's more it's like the the architecture it is more on the vendor side suppose you are taking cloud solution right so you don't have to manage your security it's more of the azure or any like gcp they will manage the security for you so your organization is independent they do, don't need to manage all these things right the if you want to like understand mesh security is it worth it or what because we have different technologies we have a huge uh, shift from what we were using traditionally we were having uh, on prem databases on prem data centers they have all move to cloud so like it's it's more of a vendor trust and any organization for them that the, the reputation is more important so if you say if you ask me personally any data which is within your organization is anyhow more secure right uh, if you are exposing your data if you are uh, taking cloud solution I, I believe it can be compromised if you ask me personally because whatever data is within your own data center it is more secure so if you if you, uh, if i am not aware whether you know the trend most of the healthcare companies and banking companies they don't go much for cloud data like they don't go for much, much for cloud uh, solutions even till today for their users they are keeping the data in their on prem servers yeah okay because health and banking these are the two industries which have enormous amount of data and if they expose the data it can be a big big breach i hope i was uh, clear on your question but uh, in the health industry they do use you know cloud computing to store they have the, so much amount of data that large that much large they will store it yeah storing see uh, what i said is uh, they can they may be using cloud solution but i am saying the confidential data there there are uh, we, uh, you uh, they will never tell anyone which data they are putting on their on prem servers and which data they are putting on cloud they are regulatory requirements 
regulatory requirements yeah. they must follow the rules yeah by the government yeah but they do use cloud yeah they use cloud i i know for processing storing a lot of things they use but what i am saying is it depends on organization to organization yeah. whether they want yeah and what you ask the security part is always on the vendor side because there are only few companies who have their own cloud architecture like gcp azure oracle cloud and we have uh, uh, there is one more for uh, i think uh, there is one more cloud company uh, aws yeah aws correct so these are the major players and any organization once you take the cloud solution the security part always goes to the vendor side okay. if you are the customer for aws aws will have the responsibility to make their system secure because it's a trust issue right if you lock once the reputation is uh, lost like uh, just a minute <laughs> So if you recently, if you are aware, there was one crowd strike, crowd strike issue, right? Yeah, yeah. The whole world went down. People were stuck yeah. in air. Just yeah. because so of, most one, of the, one foolish update, one line yeah, of code. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so uh, you you are currently in uh, in which like uh, you are in uh, BTEC which year? Uh, first. No, I. Uh, you are first year. Yeah, people say that. Yeah, first year uh, you are in Kalinga or which which university? Oh, let me just see. Sorry. I, I, I... Let me fix my. Am I audible, guys? Yes, okay. So now we will have our next. Uh, this this is more about different domains within the cybersecurity. Okay, so we have like we have different layers. If you are aware about the OSI layer, okay. So we have data link layer, network layer, transport layer, different application layer and physical layer all these things are there right so for every osi layer we have a cyber security team okay <clears throat> so this network security they their focus is more on the networking part infrastructure unauthorized access uh, ip ip address ip protocols these all things so they they mostly firewalls intrusion de detection systems ips network segmentation these all part of the network security then we have application security layer so they more they are they are like secure code they are trying to de deliver a secure code which cannot be easily penetrated or they are trying to build the application which have more secure they are following the secure coding practices more penetration testing input validation authentication and authorization mechanisms they are more into that so if you work like if we, the third domain is information security P protecting the so sensitive information such as personal data financial data intellectual property unauthorized access is mo it is the major area i think Un unauthorized access and uh, data encryption data access control uh, dlp and incident so i have been majorly working on this part of the cyber security data encryption access control data loss prevention incident response planning so i i am more more inclined to information security and kind of network security operational security so operational security is more about overall security posture of an organization managing security policies it's more about the what policies will be followed what procedures and what controls will be developed so it's more of a risk assessment before we it's more of a architectural part operational security like what architecture an organization will follow to uh, to like uh, uh, to make its company security posture more more 
uh, strong and uh, like it, 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 it should have a very strong cyber security architecture. So now we have uh, end user education. Like it's more about educating like users about cyber security best practices to like to if, how, what kind of attacks it can uh, people can suffer from or any organization what kind of attacks are these days planned by uh, cyber criminals and all so it's more about phishing awareness password management and secure browsing habits okay then we have cloud security protecting data and system stored in cloud so it's uh, as i mentioned before it's more about data encryption access controls data and compliance within the uh, security standards so any organization they have to follow the uh, compliance guidelines built by any government within different countries. So they have to align by those. So it's more about access controls and data encryption with, within their uh, cloud, cloud infrastructure. Next is IoT security. It's more of a semiconductor based and more of a device to device communication, uh, device to device security. It's firmware updates, network segmentation, and data privacy. So it's more of a one device communicating to other device without human intervention. So we need to secure device to device communication as well. So IoT security is part of that. So the next is future and market trends in cybersecurity. So we have different kind of increasing cyber threats, sophisticated attacks cyber criminals as i mentioned before state sponsored attack like there are countries who are uh, promoting cyber attacks they are attacking other countries they are paying uh, cyber criminals to attack on other countries targeted attacks there are cyber criminals which are uh, like targeting certain companies payment companies like if you have uh, like we have phone pay google pay these all payment companies i uh, credit card they are targeted attacks mostly to particular industry market growth increasing spending organization like if you see these days cyber security has the maximum investment done by any company all the companies are mostly fo focusing on improving their cyber security infrastructure and uh, their sense they the most important thing they are trying to do is they want to secure their sensitive data any company if you, even if you if you are using instagram Facebook, they all are trying to secure their data because this this day data is a fuel. So there are continuous growing demand for cybersecurity professional and there are startups. There, if you have heard of Sabi and, and different technology which are coming, uh, CyberArk, these all are coming into the blockchain. These There are many startups based out of cybersecurity. So, <clears throat> There has been a lot of regulatory changes at the government level. So they are more working more on data privacy, security regulations to protect the consumer data. Because everything now, you order food from Zomato, they are asking for your data. You order uh, something from Amazon, they are asking for your data. It's so, it's more of a data driven economy now. So they are asking more for consumer data. So government needs to check, have a check on them, whether they are protecting the consumer data or not. So next is cross-border data flows, the increasing flow of data cross-border present. So since we all are connected to the internet, there are people from different countries across borders. So data can flow easily from one, one place to another. So they are keeping check on, we try to access which computers, we have different IPs for different geographical locations. So they are keeping check on the compliance cost. So <clears throat> they are now regulatory bodies are putting more on compliance. They have increased the penalties. Any data breach can cause a huge penalty for the companies. So companies are also more making things more secure so they don't uh, face any compliance issues. So now we have cyber. If you go to the uh, like, if you have heard of, there are a lot of cyber, even CrowdStrike, it is a cybersecurity kind of startup. And there are more companies uh, uh, like J Juniper Networks and uh, Cisco. These all are companies working in the field of cybersecurity, Sabian, CyberArk. 
so these are the companies cyber security so the, the emerging technologies are like artificial intelligence blockchain blockchain hashing quantum computing these things are, are playing major role in the cyber security startups and they are aligning their more uh, towards the, uh, the these technologies so there are companies who themselves are not working in the cyber security space like the uh, amazon the major job of amazon is not to secure system but still they are hi hiring companies they are acquiring new cyber security startups to enable their cyber security infrastructure and to uh, go into the cyber security domain so what are some common types of cyber attacks i will i have also mentioned some real life examples where attack was done and how it <coughs> impacted the overall uh, infrastructure so malware you guys may be aware of like it's a just a malicious software any script or any code which can put into your system it can or you you may download you access a harmful website you downloaded some picture from there some th content from there and it will it will embed the program like that code or malicious software within your, your uh, whatever you are downloading and it it can cause a huge like it will go into your system and it can disrupt your system so like example there was wanna cry ransomware attack in 2017 which affected around 2 lakh computers across 150 countries encrypting data and demanding ransom payments in bitcoin so if you search on google you can easily find this attack and there are phishing attacks like you you will get some email to click on the link you will win something so they will give some some uh, like it they will give some uh, link if you click on this link you will get this one dollar you will get a bitcoin something and you will click on the link and it will your all the data will be exposed or it will be like copied so it's in 2016 there was a phishing attack uh, sorry so in 2016 there was a phishing attack which was targeted the employees of dnc uh, democratic national committee leading to significant data breach okay and did you heard about that Vazirx getting hacked? Vazirx, the crypto exchange, two seventy million dollars got hacked from them by North Korea. I'm a specific. Uh, is it a recent attack or uh, like just uh, two months ago, man? It was just July, maybe maybe thirtieth July, starting of August. Okay, maybe I'm not aware of that attack, but I these are some major attacks which i'm aware so i have mentioned in this see every day something some attack will happen something will happen but it's it's an ongoing process that's what i'm telling cyber security space every day something will happen there was a iranian nuclear project which was attacked so if you like this this was the attack stuxnet okay it was it damaged the whole nuclear program so we have every day we have different kind of attacks so crypto like crypto these these things are more targeted because these are new technologies people are not much aware of this so cryptos and all these are not regulated also so now that's why even in india crypto regulation is still a challenge so that's why uh, bitcoins and these currencies are not much into use but going forward uh i think more digital currencies and this will be because we are trying to build more secure systems for bitcoins and all these things you know, so yeah. it was and maybe a north korean hacker or someone he he, he just uh, you know sque squeezed their uh, crypto wallet down to nothing or uh, yes just hacked over over two two seventy five or two thirty million dollars something. Yeah, North Korea is anyhow. It's uh, like it's isolated country. It can uh, it can it, it 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 had. Yeah, it's it it is trying multiple attacks. There are other countries as well which are more into attack. So as I already mentioned, there are state sponsored attacks also. They hire some countries will hire cyber criminals 
they will do attacks these these things are now this these are entering so like israel and we have, you know they are uh, israel and palestine they are trying uh, both of the countries are trying to shut down each other's uh, these computer networks and also dead networks israel and palestine have you heard about that yeah yes a uh, lot of things are happening you see every day something uh, keep in cyberspace you will find every day something new is coming up and in this age so, of ai in this age of ai anything can happen yeah correct so maybe we have a qa session if you guys have any doubts like once i complete this you you guys can uh, like if you have any questions you can ask me so man in the middle this is like uh, when you are transferring something over the ip address or encrypt uh, non non encrypted uh, like non encrypted api calls or anything through internet you are using a http uh, http protocol it can, it can, some attackers will keep waiting for that and they will within the like with within your response which is the server it they will capture the data and they can do complete the transaction so this if you are aware there was uh, there even today there are a lot of people who are using uh, credit card details which which got leaked during the tok tok uh, there was a company called tok tok which were having the data for netflix payment ids okay so there are a lot of people who are still using credit cards of people who have maybe passed away in covid and their credit cards are still active there are people who are using netflix using the, their credit cards and payments are being done so this was one of the attack uh, which I, i have tracked like uh, this attack if you search in google you will get uh, uh, mitm techniques were used so we have sql injection which involves like you have a sql code which can easily manipulate your database system you put it into a some code someone downloads it and it will automatically run within the database it can cause a huge huge compromise for data card payment every detail can be fetched via sql so zero day exploits it's morely more of a like if you have some vulnerabilities in the software and some patch upgrades are not coming some company some cyber criminals are aware that this there is some issue in the software and patches are uh, patch update is not done they may be they can damage your if you are using a system so like what happened in iran they were using some old software for their testing and all nuclear program and uh, their systems were crashed by the us uh, government or people say it's more of a us state sponsored attack but uh this is what it was in the stuxnet bomb we have social engineering attacks like you will get a random ping or something from instagram so, uh, other social media website uh, they will call hi we are this 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 they will try to get get your data uh, phishing emails these kind of so social engineering like they will design a email or a text in such a form that you click on their link uh they will uh, they will try to make you have a feel uh, they will try to make you feel sense of emergency like the, your password is expiring your account will be deactivated your google account will be and uh, so that you click on that link and they can uh, th this is called social engineering they will try to manipulate you using the social engineering tricks so that you click on those links and uh, they can easily access your data so insider threats there are people within the organization who compromise the data they sell the data like uh, if someone is working on some important project they have important data of that project they they expose it to the outer world like we are working on this this so we have insider threats also like there was a former employee from us national security agency so he leaked the classified information you if you watch the there is one movie called snowden if you watch that movie you will try to, you will get the uh, you will understand about this case so now coming to this is the recent data which was released by world economic forum related to job 
job market and how technology adoption will be done in the coming years so is the graph uh, visible to you all guys yes no yep yeah so this is the recent data after ai disruption came into the picture and what jobs will be increased so if you can see cyber security it's here technology it there will be huge demand of cyber security engineers okay security domain these are the domains where will be, we will see a lot of demand and if you see technology adoption 2023 till 2027 so if you see encryption and cyber security cloud computing okay there will be a huge growth in this domain in the coming years artificial intelligence even more than artificial intelligence it will be more about encryption and cyber security big data cloud computing so this is the market trend current currently we are uh, which is predicted by world economic forum okay so this is the same graph so now coming to the most important part which you might uh, you guys might be waiting for so this is the pay trends in cyber security so <clears throat> mostly cyber security professional are paid more than other it roles if you compare like different we have different domain cloud engineers and all so cy because cyber security is more of a threat based job like we have a lot of threats vulnerabilities coming every day like someone was mentioning we have different attacks being made every day so the job is bit tougher more of a like it's more of a very responsible job being a cyber security engineer so it's the pay scale is bit higher as compared to other domains like if there is experienced person salaries may if if you go in dollars like within us there it's between 95000 dollars per year to 1 one lakh 20000 per year so it will it, it's somewhere around if you compare to 1.5 cr kind of uh, every year so for leadership roles it's like uh, the this the above data is for us people um, mostly outside india and ciso is called chief security information uh, in uh, chief information security officer so these are mostly the head within the companies who who design how cyber security infrastructure within the company will be uh, molded or how what what kind of architecture they will be building the how how they want their company to have a cyber security infrastructure so <coughs> their salaries are around 150000 dollars annually so uh, salaries are mostly dependent on geographical location industry also depends so gender there is a, still a gender pay gap in the cyber security sector uh, if you go to like people above 12 years so there is still a, a pay pa parity uh, between uh, different genders so if you come to india the starting is around 7 lakh per year this is the average salary highest can go up to 15 lakhs for a fresher 16 20 lakhs <laughs> and uh, this is the average salary starting salary and for specialists it's somewhere around uh, 1 lakh uh, 12 lakh per year till it can go up to <coughs> 36 lakh 40 lakhs depending on the skill set you are coming with and the uh, amount the kind of company you are uh, trying to work for so if you go to average comp compensation uh, additional compensation you can get up to 70 like if you go to average salary for month it's 70000 till 1.5 lakhs 2 lakhs per month okay so thanks all uh, this this is all from my end